So guys, the question that we are going to solve today is this: K closest points to the origin. And this question has been asked in so many companies. And today we are going to learn two different approaches for this question in the next 90 seconds. So make sure to watch it till the end. Now let's see what the question is saying. So we are given an array of points where each coordinate represents a point on an x-y plane and an integer k. And our task is to return the k closest point to the origin. And for finding out the closest point to the origin, we need to calculate the distance. And for calculating distance, we are going to use this formula in this particular question. But if you observe. we have these two points and we need to calculate the distance of these two points from the origin so we can directly write the formula as x1 k square plus y1 k square because this x2 is also zero and this y2 is also zero and we know that 10 is greater so under root 10 is also definitely going to be greater than under root 10 so no need of calculating square root we can simply calculate x1 k square plus y1 k square make sense now let's see how we are going to solve this question using those two approaches that i mentioned so the first approach is going to be the extreme brute force approach where we will be calculating the distance of each point from the origin with the same formula that i told you right and based on this formula we will be calculating the distance and after that we will sort the entire array based on this distance okay we will get this value 3,3 And minus two comma four, and we need to return two closest point to this origin in this particular case. So we will be returning these two. So the same thing we have done here in the code. What we have done first, we have created an array to store the result, and then what we are doing, we are sorting the points array based on their distance. And for that, what we have done, we have used a custom comparator. This is x one square. This is y one square, and these two are for a. This is x one square. This is y one square, and these two points are for b. So based on this comparison. we are sorting the entire list and after sorting the entire list we will pick up the first k elements because we know the first k elements will be the closest one from the origin and at the end we will simply return the result itself so in the second approach what we are going to do we will be using the concept of heaps and in heaps also we are going to use the concept of max heap for example in the starting first we will be having square root 18 okay means we will be having 3,3 3, right and after that we will be having under root 20 this we can eliminate because we know as soon as the size of heap becomes greater than k we will eliminate that so the same thing we have done here in the code we have created a max heap here where we are storing the farthest elements to the origin at the top means at the root so if these are the two points a comma b this is x1 square this is y1 square for b this is x1 square this is y1 square for a so based on these comparisons we are storing the greatest element at the top means we are storing the farthest element to the origin at the top right and after that we have a array here to store the result and what we are doing we are adding all the points to this max heap and as soon as the size of heap becomes greater than k we are instantly removing that element and finally we will pick up all the elements from the heap and will store them in the result array at the end we will return the result itself so i hope you got the logic now you can take a screenshot of this code and try to do write and by your own also share this reel with your friends who are learning dsa and i will see you in the next video with another dsa